And today is Juneteenth, a federal holiday commemorating the day Union troops entered Galveston, Texas, formally ending slavery there. Our Sam Carter is learning more this morning about that day and the history behind it with the folks at Roots 101. Hey, Sam. Back here one final time at Roots 101, joined by Lamont Collins. Lamont, we're looking at a, a bit of a sculpture here. Talk to me about what this is and how it is a representation of today, Juneteenth. Well, I think it's a representation that the story wasn't told correctly. If you look at the Liberty Bell, and I think earlier you talked about the history, you learned about the history bell, we always were told that is the bell that represented all people of America. Uh, it was the Liberty Bell, freedom for all. But when we look at the bell, we see the crack in the bell because of movement of the bell, temperature and all those things in school. But we never talk about the crack in the foundation of America because black people wasn't free in 1776. No, and I mean, there's a representation of it. These chains below us are a shameful reminder of that past. Can you talk to me a little bit about yeah, these? Yeah, these are original chains from Ghana, more than 400 years old. And no matter how you talk about history, until you hold these chains and feel the trauma of what black people felt 400 years ago, you feel that trauma today as if it was yesterday, showing you how much we're still connected to history and the trauma of things that we went through in history. And while people have to understand our history is so important just to lift the, the past of the, uh, of the downtrodden because we've moved forward. And we move forward in spite of the, the things that were put in place in order to keep us enslaved. I mean, that bell told a lie, didn't oh, it? Oh, it's no doubt. And the educational system has told a lie. Absolutely. And a lie that we, we live with by not knowing. And you're bringing me to my next point pretty beautifully. I mean, you guys tell that story here in a really meticulous, interesting, and provocative way. Mm -hmm. But you guys are donor-funded. Um, and I want to give you the opportunity to tell people how they can help Roots 101 not only continue, but continue to thrive and continue to grow. Well, beautiful. Thank you for, uh, for opening that up. We're a 501c3, so we take uh, donations to stay alive, and we donate it. Uh, then we get funds for certain organizations to help us. I think the biggest thing we could do, uh, they have good, a gift for good day with the local community foundation, and we're part of the community foundation. And our, our push this year, the same as last year, is to buy this block. We have the opportunity to buy the back of the block, so we have this whole building that would put us over 200, uh, over 30,000 square foot total. And we can keep telling that story. And we'll do uh, little novelty rooms within the museum where you can come and stay at a Willie Mays room who just passed away, or stay away of a Obama, Barack Obama's room. But we have able to re recreate and, and show the, 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 the resilience of our history and the beauty of living within it. Absolutely. This is such a jewel in our community that if you haven't visited, you should. It's, root, it's Roots 101, and it is right in downtown Louisville, right in the middle of everything. I encourage you to come down. I want to thank them for having us all morning. It was an educational and really incredible day for me. I'll send it back to you guys. Absolutely, Sam. For so many people who maybe didn't understand what the Juneteenth holiday yeah. was about, hopefully you learned something this morning. It looks, it has been fantastic what Sam has been bringing us all morning.